The Battle of Jiating was fought between the states of Cao Wei and Xu Han in 228 during the Three Kingdoms period in China. The battle was part of the first northern expedition led by Xu's Chancellor Regent, Zhuge Liang, to attack Wei. The battle concluded with a decisive victory for Wei. Chapter 1 Opening Moves Zhuge Liang first sent generals Zhao Yun and Deng Zhi to attack Wei, while he personally led a force towards Mount Qi. Cao Rui, the Emperor of Wei, moved to Chang'an and sent Jiang He to attack Zhuge Liang while Cao Zhen would oppose Zhao Yun. Zhuge Liang chose generals Ma Su as the vanguard commander along with Wang Ping to intercept Jiang He, rather than the suggested veterans officers Wei Yan or Wu Yi. Chapter 2 The Battle Jiating was a crucial region for the securing of supplies, and Zhuge Liang sent Ma Su and Wang Ping to guard the region. Ma Su went accompanied by Wang Ping but did not listen to his sound military advice. Relying purely on books of military tactics, Ma Su chose to take the high ground and set his base on the mountains instead of in a city, ignoring Wang Ping's advice to make camp in a valley well supplied with water. Wang Ping, however, managed to persuade Ma Su to give him command of a portion of the troops, and later Wang set up his base camp near Ma's camp, in order to offer assistance when Ma was in danger. Due to this tactical mistake, the Wei army led by Zhang He encircled the hill and cut off the water supply to the Xu troops and defeated them. Wang Ping with only a handful of soldiers did his best to keep the retreat organized and ordered his soldiers to beat their drums loudly to create the impression that reinforcements had arrived. Zhang He believed this to possibly be a sign of an ambush and so he did not pursue. When Zhuge Liang arrived, he attempted to defeat Zhang He however he didn't find a way to take a position and so the Xu army had to retreat to Hongzhong. Though he survived the battle, Ma Su's army was nearly annihilated, so he was soon arrested and sentenced to execution by a reluctant and tearful Zhuge Liang. Chapter 3 Aftermath Ma Su was sentenced to death by Zhuge Liang, along with his deputies Zhang Xu and Li Sheng as a way to soothe the masses. Before his execution Ma Su wrote a letter to Zhuge Liang, You wise lord regarded me like a son and myself looked upon you as a father. I dearly hope that this is the righteousness of the execution of Kun leading to the rise of the state of you. May our whole life's relationship not be reduced by this. Though I shall die, I shall bear no resentments against the yellow earth. Many among the army wept greatly for Ma Su's death. Because of the loss of Jiating, the supply situation became dire for Zhuge Liang's army and he had to retreat to his main base at Hongzhong. In addition, the defeat at Jiating caused the first northern expedition to result in failure. Chapter 4 Location The exact location of the battle is not certain, according to research by the Gansu Daily newspaper, there are several plausible locations. Jiating Village, Meiji District, southeast of Tianshui. Guanlun Town, east of Tangjiachuan County. Jiating Mountain in Mayan County, Shanxi Province. Longcheng Town, east of Kainan County, Gansu. Other locations named by some are Huating and Zhuanglanga Memorial of the Battle is located in Longcheng Town. Topographical evidence and weapons found suggest that Longcheng is the most likely location, although there is no consensus among experts. Chapter 5 In Romance of the Three Kingdoms In the 14th century historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Ma Su was executed on the order of a tearful Zhuge Liang, whose continued high appraisal for Ma's intelligence made that a very reluctant decision. The scene has also been reenacted in Chinese opera. A Chinese proverb, wiping away tears and executing Ma Su, refers specifically to this incident, meaning punishing a person for his wrongdoings regardless of relations or his abilities. A Japanese equivalent is tearfully executing Ma Su. In the novel, the loss of Jiating exposed Zhuge Liang's current location, the defenseless Xicheng. Zhuge Liang used the empty fort strategy to ward off the enemy before retreating. In many stories, including the novel, the battle includes Sima Yi on the wayside, 
but this event is impossible according to his biography in the records of the Three Kingdoms. Moss Roberts comments on this in his fourth volume of his English translation of Romance of the Three Kingdoms on. The historical Sima Yi was not at the Western Front for the vacant city ruse but at the more important Southern Front with the Southland. Sima Yi did not come to the Western Front until Kongming's fourth offensive. The fictional tradition tends to attach more importance to the Weishu conflict than the Weiwu conflict, and Three Kingdoms accordingly builds up the Kongming Sima Yi rivalry and the events of AD 228. In the abstract theory above, Roberts explains and compares historic history with fictional tales and the most likely reason Sima Yi was included before the Battle of Mount Chi. Based on Roberts' view of the fictional novel's tendency to build up the rivalry between Sima Yi and Zhuge Liang, and the contradiction of Sima Yi's location at the time of this event, some share Roberts' opinion that the event did not happen. However, many historians agree that Sima Yi's absence alone cannot disprove the occurrence. The historical basis for the event comes from an anecdote shared by Go Chong in the early Jin dynasty. The anecdote is translated as follows. Zhuge Liang garrisoned at Yangping and ordered Wei Yen to lead the troops east. He left behind only 10,000 men to defend Yangping. Sima Yi led 200,000 troops to attack Zhuge Liang and he took a shortcut, bypassing Wei Yan's army and arriving at a place 60 li away from Zhuge Liang's location. Upon inspection, Sima Yi realized that Zhuge Liang's city was weakly defended. Zhuge Liang knew that Sima Yi was near, so he thought of recalling Wei Yan's army back to counter Sima Yi, but it was too late already and his men were worried and terrified. Zhuge Liang remained calm and instructed his men to hide all flags and banners and silence the war drums. He then ordered all the gates to be opened and told his men to sweep and dust the ground. Sima Yi was under the impression that Zhuge Liang was cautious and prudent, and he was baffled by the sight before him and suspected that there was an ambush. He then withdrew his troops. The following day, Zhuge Liang clapped his hands, laughed, and told an aide that Sima Yi thought that there was an ambush and had retreated. Later, his scouts returned and reported that Sima Yi had indeed retreated. Sima Yi was very upset when he found out later. Later, in the 5th century, Pei Songzi added the anecdote as an annotation to Zhuge Liang's biography in the Sangazi. Since Zhuge Liang wrote on the use of this tactic in his compilation work, 36 Stratagems, going so far as to detail how the psychology employed works, and why. When the enemy is superior in numbers and your situation is such that you expect to be overrun at any moment, then drop all pretense of military preparedness, act calmly, and taunt the enemy, so that the enemy will think you have a huge ambush hidden for them. It works best by acting calm and at ease when your enemy expects you to be tense. This ploy is only successful if in most cases you do have a powerful hidden force and only sparsely use the empty fort strategy. Also worthy of note is that Zhuge Liang wrote this passage in his sixth chapter, titled Desperate Stratagems, further supporting the implication that he had experience in using this tactic, and his description does match the situation described by Go Chong. However, there are a number of texts that dispute the accuracy of Go Chong's anecdote. Chapter 6, In Popular Culture The battle is featured as a playable stage in Koei's video game series Dynasty Warriors for the PlayStation 2. If the player is playing on the way side, he has the option of following history to win the stage easily. On the other hand, if the player is playing on the shoe side, he will encounter a higher level of difficulty since one of his major objectives is to ensure the survival of Ma Su. In the collectible card game Magic, The Gathering there is a card named Empty City Ruse in reference to the empty fort strategy described in the 14th century historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms.